Hi everyone. What defines your life? Passion or lethargy? Does the passion that God placed into your life through what we call calling or what we refer to as purpose, is it that thing that defines your life? I can remember so clearly that day that I was so sure that God had called me for something special in this world. I remember the, the energy that I had. I remember getting up in the morning and, and just rushing to work and, and rushing to the places that God had called me to. But maybe you, like me, somewhere along this journey has lost that energy and that spark. The series that we're busy with I believe that God has got a, a purpose for this series and that is just igniting His passion in His children's lives again. We've been speaking about those things that the enemy uses to bring doubt into our minds, to just raise this, this reasonable doubt possibility in our minds that distract us from His calling. Today specifically we're going to talk about this crazy thing called success. It's crazy because the very calling that God brings me into, He's got favor over. His favor then results in success and success and then a yet another success. But somewhere, somehow, the success that God deposits into my life may be the very thing that distract, distracts me away from Him. I remember a moment in my investment banking career where Success just bred success and just bred more success. And somehow we forget where the success comes from in the first place. In investment banking, we've got this, this statement where we say, just another three years. What does that mean? What we mean by that is, we just need another three years of successful deal making and successful banking. Then we will have garnered enough wealth to leave what we're doing and to go and make a difference in the world. It's amazing how once one success leads to the next success, it's amazing how we get distracted and this three-year plan becomes a rolling three-year plan. And guess what? At some point in time, you will never make a difference in this world at all. Maybe you're listening to this and it's hard to grasp this concept, but it's hard to even admit to yourself that the success that God has brought over to your life because you are walking in His purpose has become the center of your attention. And maybe you should hear today that God is craving back your attention to Him. It's difficult to, to admit and for that reason I want to share just a little test with you just to see how far you are in losing your energy chasing after success as opposed to significance. A very easy test. Maybe if, you, if you're good with maths, you don't need your, your cell phone at this point, but if you do need your cell phone, just pick it up, open your calculator, and maybe just do the next sum with me. Firstly, put in your current gross monthly salary. Your current gross monthly salary. Okay, now what you do is you multiply that by two. Now you take that answer, and you add a zero to it. Deduct the tax, whatever your tax rate is, and then look at that number that you are left with. Do you like that number? Do you like that number maybe so much that you might be chasing after that number as opposed to God's purpose in your life? Again, the crazy thing about success is that is exactly what happens to many of us when you compare the salary that we earn when we start work and the salary that you will be earning when you're 40 or 50 years old. If when you are 20, I tell you, this is the salary that you, that you will earn and you must make a difference in, your, in this world, you'll make that difference. But the problem is we get used to success, we get used to the money, we get used to the lifestyle and we keep on just craving more and more and more. And my question to you today, God's question to you today is, when is enough enough? Maybe you're sitting here and you're listening to this and, and you're thinking, I've lost my purpose because I've been chasing after the very success that God has brought into my life. 
Just the mere fact that you are willing to admit that is the journey towards purpose and passion again. I believe that God wants to come today, today, and He wants to reignite your passion for Him. Reignite the passion that He's placed in your heart to go and make a difference in His world, to make a difference in His community. I pray that this very simple message and this very simple test will focus you back on the very one that makes your life a success, that makes your life significant in this world.